Hi and welcome to An Academy Studios. I am Bhavik Bansal. I am a first year MBBS student at AIMS New Delhi, and I got AIR one in AIMS MBBS 2019 and AIR two in NEET UG 2019. Today we will be discussing broadly the strategies for NEET and AIMS. But before that, I'd like to introduce you to the An Academy Plus platform. This gives you a personalized learning experience and instantaneous approval from the teacher with live classes and instantaneous doubt clearing session. So I will try to include these classes in my schedule. Uh, but you should know that already much more experienced teachers are taking classes on an academy plus. You can subscribe through the Android app or the website. The subscription for one year medical is for 25,000 rupees, but you can use the code Bhavik and get a 10% off and get it for 22,500. For two years, the cost is 40,000, but again, you can use the code Bhavik and get 10% discount to get it at 36,000. Now, let us move on to the topic at hand. First of all, you should realize what is the difference in the AIMS versus the NEET exam. First of all, the AIMS exam has obviously AR and GK section that is, you know, apart from what NEET has. Second of all, NEET has highly weighted biology. Okay, highly weighted biology. So two things you have to understand. First of all, this GK thing is a myth. Most people will try to enforce that GK is different in AIMS. So will make you read more GK in the gap between NEET and AIMS. But believe me, GK is the only thing that is extremely easy in the AIMS exam. So people usually read GK up to UPSC level. That is absolutely not required. AIMS GK is very basic. So besides giving time to GK, you should read physics and chemistry to a higher level, which AIMS does ask specifically salt analysis, which is often ignored because not in the NEET syllabus. So GK, you should not invest more than two hours. For a certain reason, I believe that doing uh, previous year questions is not a good way. Neither is doing many assertion reason questions. Rather, you should just read NCRT lines and try to figure out which lines really do make a assertion reason statement. Second of all, you have to realize that the previous year paper of AIMS are highly unreliable. Uh, to Just to give you a fact that I gave the AIMS exam on 26th of May. Uh, in the evening the moment i came back from the hall and saw what the what a coaching institute make made a memory based paper it was grossly inaccurate because aims makes a paper which makes you work from tip to toe but the memory based paper that come are pretty simplified so you won't get the idea of what the aims exam is like from the memory based paper second biology in neat is highly weighed so you should give more time to biology but restrict yourself mostly to NCRT and a bit uh, which you have to go forward should be NCRT centric but for AIMS uh, the biology section is one of the most easiest you have to concentrate more on the physics and chemistry section plus the physics AR and the use of NCRT for the AR in AIMS is extremely important now after realizing the difference in the exams you should always if you have that two year span you should read for fun. I mean, for the one and a half years of my two year study, I never thought about preparing for a specific exam. I was reading, I was solving questions for fun. For fun means like I enjoyed the subjects. You as a PCB student have chosen one of the best subjects that there exists and not enjoying them and getting stressed about an exam which is happening two years after today would not make you like sustain those two years so always try to read for fun and try to you know read peripherally do not stick to the syllabus i know some some of you may think the syllabus is itself vast but when you get that peripheral knowledge the application of that peripheral knowledge makes that syllabus look me me meager so uh, uh, after that ncrt should be at your tips because as i said earlier also 80 percent to more of the paper is ncrt based and it should be because ncrt is the defined syllabus for all of the competitive exams so your first priority should be ncrt and specifically for biology there is no going away from ncrt and inorganic chemistry follows the same ideals 
so ncrt should be your first priority if you have got one minute uh, extra uh, read bio, uh, biology ncrt so you have to divide time in excess like if you have only limited amount of time you have to read ncrt when you are exhausted with ncrt though you shouldn't be when you are exhausted with ncrt to uh, accumulate that ncrt knowledge and store it in your long term memory you should read more books that's how it should work if you have two years but ncrt should form the uh, core syllabus and realizing the importance of ncrt from the first day is going to be a vast step ahead of your competitors now physics as i told you physics is done in two ways and many med medical aspirants i saw have been using physics as a like a, there's a repository of formulas and they're using it for varied number of questions but you have to realize that when you are at the exam hall where two year syllabus is coming there are four chemistry ncrts two biology ncrts that you have to keep in your head physics should not be a thing that you should have to worry about it should be a thing that is ingrained in your mind from the start and you have to just apply your concepts if you are remembering 5000 formulas for physics then you are already gone because then there's a couple of chapters some people might remember formulas and get better scores than you but when it's a two year syllabus that's coming the, then the one who's going to win is the one who's conceptually oriented and is applying physics rather than memorizing it now obviously support system the family your friends are really important i specifically thought that an advantage that i got over some people who are studying at quota is that i was in contact with my parents my family for the whole time of my preparation so that's a really important part plus choosing friends a friend circle is extremely important do not mistake a topper with a guy who sits at the corner does not talk to anyone a friend circle is really important and you have to choose the best among your friends it's often said that you are the median of your friend group so do choose friends you know cautiously now again another thing do not restrict yourself to a specific amount of uh, questions or specific difficulty i have seen many, many people doing it like they say this this is like my level i have to achieve only 500 in need 550 in need so i will do these kinds of question first of all this need the need 2019 abolished something that was going on for a long time that you cannot set a target now many people uh, thought that getting 600 would get me a good medical college but you should not set a target before the paper is off because the paper can come as easy as it can and 600 would not mean anything if the paper is very easy so do not restrict yourself to a given marks get the best you can in the uh, least amount of time that that is and also do not restrict yourself in another way like do not set up an ego that i will not do questions easier than this i'll also seen some people doing this even i am uh, you know uh, witness of doing this that i have also done something like i'll not do these questions because i've done that many times do not consider any question inferior to yourself do not take it on your ego that i will not do such easy questions and of course more strategies can be discussed but uh, these are the specific ones i thought i should discuss but uh, thank you and if you want more videos such like that you can subscribe to the unacademy studios and like and share this video among your friends thank you